Okay, it's Michael Duncan Foster here, and uh, yes, I'm still in Seymour, Indiana, but I should be leaving in the next couple of days here, um, weather permitting. Uh, but uh, I wanted to enjoy the day. Today was a beautiful day. The weather's great. It's probably about 72 degrees outside, and uh, it's just beautiful up here. Finally, we've, we've ran into some good weather because uh, it's just been raining and raining and raining and then before that snow we haven't had a break of any good sunny days but today is beautiful thank god uh for for this beautiful day and um and what what, what better way to enjoy it than to climb a tree so i like to climb things i like climb trees and rocks and stuff like that in san diego we had tons of things to climb and uh played games on trees as i was a kid so i decided to climb a tree today and if you can see i am pretty high up the ground, on the top of the tree. And what tree is this? This is the big tree out in front of Larry and Kathy's house, Larry and Kathy Bowen's house on Vine Street. It's a huge, huge maple tree, I believe. Um, and uh, there's a squirrel that lives in here. He burrowed his house uh, out of the side right there, and he's got a little penthouse view. Uh, they stayed there all winter, and we feed him, and he goes back in his little house. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'd stay there if I could because he's truly got a great pad, I'm telling you. And then, um, and then on my way up here, I noticed that we have a little nest, a nest of, uh, let's see, oh, a dove, dove nest. And uh, I'll probably show you that on the way down. But... I'm up. Matter of fact, tell you what, I'll just take you down and show you if I can. I don't think I can though, actually, because it's pretty far down in some places I had to hang on to. So I'm not sure I can, but I'll tell you what, I'll take a little video of the nest uh, when I get there. If I can't hold on to this, because I gotta have both hands here. I mean, I'm at the top of this huge tree. Yeah, at the very top. I can't really go any further. And, you know, my leg's shaking. That's how high up I am. And I'm not scared of heights or anything like that. Like I said, I love climbing. But once you get up to a certain level, uh, you're not. I'm not. There's no fear. It's not fear. What it is, is it's, uh, you want to stay alive, right? Everyone wants to stay alive. And everyone's worried about dying. We have this great big fear of dying. I guess it is a little bit of fear. Self-preservation, right? But um, God said there is no fear. And with God, you can do anything. And when your time is up, your time is up. And I believe in the Bible. It says it's the truth over and over and over again. So I believe that is exactly the truth. You know, we just can't understand God's word. But it is the truth. And uh, I believe in God, and I believe in Jesus. And uh, uh, I really don't care whether or not you believe in God or Jesus or, or have a God or anything like that. I love everybody. Um, but uh, I truly believe that God was good for this country. You know, I believe that when they started eradicating God out of the country, um, our moral values went down. I mean, uh, look at our society right now. You know, our kids are shooting people. Um, there are no respect, no moral values, too much television, too much video games. Don't know how to survive with Mother Nature. Don't know how to climb a tree. Overweight. Our, our, our income's less. Mother and father's working more. No more marriage home, married homes. Everyone's, everyone's around jumping from one place to another. And, and uh, crime rate is up. You know, our government doesn't even have moral values in it. And it's just worse. So the less of God in our government the worse it is for us. Whether you believe in God or not, God was good for the country and God is good for the world. Okay, God is good for the world. We need to come out in love, uh, not revolution, in love, a revolution of love and peace and, uh, and, and togetherness with no boundaries at all, loving everyone as, as one. Uh, because truly that's what God wanted. I mean, look at this is a tree and then it's got a nest and a squirrel on it. Uh, two different species, three different species, the tree, the, the bird, and the squirrel. And they live together in perfect harmony, you know, perfect harmony. And that's what we're supposed to do, live together in perfect harmony, not judging anyone. Even though we uh, are the same species, we're from different areas. But when you're in America, for America to be an example, we're Americans. There is, that is our nationality. American is our nationality. Okay, we have to drop our other nationalities when we come to America and become American. 
Now, that's not saying forget, and that's not saying uh, still don't believe in the traditions, but that's saying also America is different, and when you celebrate and when you're out here, it's American. That's what you are first, okay? Whatever you are second is second, but what you are first is American, and that means you need to know how America works. And uh, right now, America's not working too good. So we all need to stand up, educate ourselves, come together in peace and unity. And we can do that with uh, our own 501c3, uh, 501c3 social network. We need our own social network ran by the people, for the people, with no corporate funding, no angel backing, nothing ran by the people. Uh, and that way, we can stay together and come together in unity online with the same belief to put God back in the country and to change the country the way that it should be, to get these congressmen and uh, House of Representatives to do exactly what we voted them in for to do, to listen to the people, okay, and then give the people a voice, an ed educated voice. And at this social network, we can co-collaborate on the problems. And if we drop the boundaries, no more Republican or Democrat, uh, we can find the best solution, take both sides, and then push for it. If our social network is as big as, say, Facebook, 750 million, 800 million subscribers, we would have a voice. We would have a voice for America and, a, and the world. Be free. Virtual freedom. Freedom for the world. That's what I say. Okay, so God bless you. God bless America. God bless God. Open up your hearts and give out love. God is real. God is real. Peace. I'm going to try and climb down this hill, or this uh, hill, this tree here. And uh, if you can see, I'm way out. Can you see that? Oh, on the side there. And uh, see if I can't get you a picture of that bird's nest. There it is right there. Can you see it? Can you see that? Oh, hell. I'll just see if I can get down with one hand. And I can't. I can't get down with one hand, so I'm going to have to try to. <laughs> um, again, I'll give you an update, hopefully. And no, I'm not going to fall off the tree. It's not going to be the last video you see of me. <laughs> Peace and love to the world. God bless you. God bless God. And God bless America. And God bless the world. I love you boys. Mom, Dad, everyone. I'm doing good. Okay? Peace.